A look from before as the Clippers made their way to the locker room, hoping to put on a show for their home fans tonight. Hello out there, and get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Along with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce joins us from the sidelines. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, Brian. The Clippers' new arena in Inglewood is opening soon, and NBA legend Jerry West said the new home will, quote, allow a fairer schedule that's not as taxing on the players, but most importantly, it's for the fans. Brian, he says it'll be amazing. Yeah, I can't wait to experience it firsthand, Allie. Thank you. A moment here to see the numbers for Luka Doncic. And he's gone cold over the last 10 games, guys. His scoring numbers are down, and he can't seem to get out of this rough patch. He's got to get himself going tonight, or they'll start losing patience with him. So here's Dallas' starting group. Reggie Bullock is out there with Tim Hardaway. Then it's Kyrie Irving. Then there's Dwight Powell. And it's Doncic in at the point. And for the Clippers, the two-way threats of George and Leonard with the wing pair. Morris and Zubots play together in the front court. And it's Jackson in at the one. Boy, guys, with that appearance in the Western Conference Finals, it certainly feels like the go. Dallas Mavericks took a huge step forward. They played to their strengths, obviously. The axis is Luka Doncic and his incredible skill set. Now here's Doncic. Left side Irving. Over George. And it's Irving missing. Right, it almost seems like last year we were seeing the team Dallas had been waiting for, Doris. It seems, B.A., they finally figured out what pieces need to be fit around Luka Doncic. Obviously, you need high-caliber shooting across positions. The one thing I think they need to continue thinking about is that rim protector and vertical threat. Now here's Doncic. And you look at his 33 points a game, a terrific weapon on offense. Out to Powell. Let's go with a three. It's rebounded by Morris. Leonard outside. Pass to George. Count it. Paul George playing through the contact right there. You, you like somebody who's willing to navigate traffic. Now here's Powell. Here's Irving. Here's Bullock, guarded by Morris. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. Jackson outside. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. Yeah, really smart move by Paul George. Feeds a ready shooter instead of forcing his own shot. Doncic passes to Powell. Back to Doncic. Puts up a three. Doesn't go that time. Los Angeles has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Pass to Leonard. From outside the arc. The Mavericks pull it in. Last time they met was in Dallas. Last time free throw shooting was their kryptonite. Just could not keep pace. And that one drops for him. Well, you know that Kyrie is going to be looking for a shot in that situation. It isn't hard for him to find one ever, it seems. And you know, you felt this coming ever since summer. The idea of Kyrie Irving out of Brooklyn. Now, we all know the two sides just couldn't see a long-term future together. So the Nets were able to send Irving away and get something before he left in free agency. Here's Zubats. That shot is off. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. Pass to Irving. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Here's Doncic. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Reggie Jackson. Well, Grant, you were a seven-time All-Star and the first rookie to lead NBA All-Star fan voting. You know, B.A., I'm still overwhelmed at that accomplishment. It surprised me. I mean, such a humbling experience. A chance to play alongside guys like Scotty and Shaq and Penny. I mean, it was so special. Oh, 
ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. Boy, guys, it wasn't too long ago that the Los Angeles Clippers were the worst team in the league, but boy, have times changed. The Clippers are now an attractive organization for some stars. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. I mean, a true transformation of the Clippers. They were that team that stars avoided. They were, B.A., but I think that started to change back in 2011. The trade of CP3 to the Clippers, it started this new era. Then the ownership change helped it even further. And in one summer, let's remember, they signed both Kawhi and Paul George. Unreal transformation. Now here's George coming off a terrific game against Brooklyn. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. Morris can't hit. Dallas has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Pass to Doncic. Outside Irving. Tries it from 19. And that's off the glass and in. Irving's got his second basket of the night. Uh, Kyrie Irving gets off the ball, goes to the catch and shoot game. Yeah, that's pure. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And Tim Hardaway Jr., a valuable offensive weapon, even if he's a bit of a volume shooter, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I mean, his efficiency has never been a selling point. But he consistently will fill up the box score and always willing to shoot and can create for himself. You know what time it is. And the Clippers going with a whole new group out there. And a new group getting ready for the Mavericks. McGee, he's checked in for Powell. Bertans comes in for Bullock. Green's checked in for Hardaway. And it's Nilakina in for Luka Doncic. A minute 58 left in the first. Pass to Batum. Inside, here's Kennard. And he drops it in from the low post. What a sort of play by Luke Kennard in the painted area doing work. Here's Nilakina. McGee a screen. And the three off target. That's a look he couldn't pass up. He just couldn't get it to go. Pass to Batum. Here's Powell. Batum with a screen on green. Powell, five to shoot. Here's Kennard. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Kennard. All right, let's see which two guards have enjoyed the most accurate shooting over the last 10 games. Well, you look at Powell, an effective scorer, third in the NBA. And of course, Josh Green, He's right there with those guys. And these guys are all assertive. They're willing to step up and take shots when their names are called. And this is what separates them from all the rest. And a lot of times, those shots they create for themselves come right at the basket. As good a group of shooters as they are, they don't just settle for jumpers. These are players who are willing to attack the rim. And the Clippers with the ball. The Mavs get their last shot to go. Outside Covington. Here's Nan. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. That three's off the mark. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. And Irving gets it to go. And the replay of that slashing drive to the hoop, courtesy of Mobile One. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. There's 25 seconds left to play in the first quarter. with it. A go-to option for this team. He puts up nearly 17 a game. Covington, a screen on green. For three, Powell. The shot, no good. Well, good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. The Mavericks on top, up by two. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter.
you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Mavericks? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. The Clippers trail. Yeah, back in the day when I was playing, the Clippers were always an easy win. Now, L.A. is consistently a playoff team. Boy, oh boy, how times have changed. Leonard and Batum, the duo at forward. Jackson and George, they're manning the backcourt. And it's Zubats in at the center position, locking down the middle. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Here's Doncic. After the Clippers picking up a basket just a moment ago. Up and in on the layup. And your last year in the league, the 12-13 season. You played for the Clippers. Yes, I did. And a great team at that. Blake Griffin, CP3, all in their primes. We won the division for the first time in Clippers history. Team record 56 wins. That year was big in the turnaround for L.A. Now here's Doncic. And you look at his 33 points a game. A terrific weapon on offense. Kept alive. Goes back up. Powell's shot is off. Doncic against Leonard. Jackson outside. Zubac with a screen on green. There's Jackson with the three. Back to Leonard. Launches it. Leonard can't get that one to fall. The Mavericks leading. Second quarter. A little over a minute and a half in. Doncic finds Powell. And here is Green, defended by Jackson. Pass to Bullock. Four on the clock. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Hardaway shot is good. Well, we know that Tim Hardaway Jr. can space the floor. You don't want to allow him to start cooking. Jackson against Doncic. Here's George. Doncic grabs the miss. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Baseline J, it's good. Luka Doncic. And it's a seven-point Maverick lead. We know this about Luka. This guy dangerous from anywhere on the floor. Such an effective shooter. Zubac with a screen on green. George, no good. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Here's Doncic. No good that time. The Clippers go the other way with it. Leonard outside. Three minutes of action thus far on the second. George outside. Looking to win the run. And again, no good by the Clippers. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. Outside, Green. Doncic outside. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Zubats has got four rebounds now. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. It's George on the wing. And down it goes. Four points. George has got his third bucket of the night. What great body control from the all-star forward. Paul George, so skilled in keeping his composure under pressure. And the Mavericks call time here. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. We're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Both teams will make substitutions. Here's Nelikina. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. 
Two minutes remain in the first. Irving for three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Covington, no good. Dallas has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Outside Irving. It's good from about 19 feet. Irving's got eight. And legacies are defined in the playoffs. Game to game, what's the measure of greatness for a star player in your mind, Grant? Well, B.A., I think it's all about consistency. The great ones in this league historically bring it every night. They may have a bad game here or there, but for the most part, the energy, the effort, and the consistency is always there. And so it's Dallas with it, following the score by the Clippers. Morris against Bertans. Five on the clock. Puts one up from 19. Hardaway shot is good. He's got five. Guys, you want to be able to score from all three levels, and Hardaway Jr. is capable. That instance, mid-range is on point. Morris, a screen on Hardaway. Powell with it, and it's Bertans picking him up with a nine-footer. That one won't fall. He's one for three on the day. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's when he normally converts. The Clippers shooting at 32% from the floor. Not good. Here's Mann, defended by Hardaway. For three, Powell, hauled in by McGee. Might be a good idea to run the clock. Hold it for the last shot. It's all about patience right here. Patience and execution. Get a good look. Now here's Irving. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And so we've reached the end of the first half of play. The Mavericks on top. They lead by seven. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. Thank you for joining us. And guys, Kyrie Irving has taken over in the first half. He's really on a roll, isn't he? Once a guy gets in rhythm, it can be hard to shake him out of it. We'll see what the defense has planned for him in the second half. So far, it seems like they're just hoping he'll run out of steam. Not a great strategy if you ask anyone. Okay, and now moving on to what's been a fantastic head-to-head -head matchup at the two-guard spot. Great battle between these two. They take a lot of pride in how they approach the game, and it seems like they're playing with extra enthusiasm tonight. Yeah, those elite matchups, man, they can bring the best out of you. Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left to this one. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. Yeah, I love how effortlessly he scored. The game just comes so easy for him. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. And on the floor for Jason Kidd as we get into the second half. They've got Reggie Bullock. Luka Doncic is out there with Kyrie Irving. Then it's Tim Hardaway. And it's Powell in at the center position. And here are the Mavericks now. Seven-point game. Biggest lead so far. From deep, here's Doncic. Offensive rebound. Powell, it's good. Powell's got his first two points. You have to love the intensity that Powell plays with on the glass, using that long body to track down those offensive boards. Jackson against Doncic. Zubac with a screen on Irving. For three, George. Doncic pulls down the board. Doncic has got his fourth rebound in this one. On the wing, Irving. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Jackson with it. He's picked up by Hardaway. That one's good from Morris on the assist by Jackson. 
Well, this is the area of the floor where Marcus Morris can be a problem because of that frame and that game. Look out, gentlemen. Doncic outside. Doncic is double. Out of bounds. And it's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. Something you can't deny about Marcus Morris. He is a passionate player. On and off the court, this guy is highly competitive. He's a leader in the locker room. His playing style, to me, would fit with any organization. Smart and tough. Green's checked in for the Mavericks. Doncic. Here's Powell. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. Tell you, even with some physical contact, Powell gets it done. Love his persistence. Powell against Zubats. Now George. He has seven. Jackson outside. Bullock puts it in. Bullock's got four rebounds now. Well, trying to find themselves in the second half here. Just one for four from the field. Can someone in the group get hot? Let's see. Now here's Doncic. And the layup falls. Doncic has gotten his third basket of the night. Uh, 6'7", 230 pounds. Luka Doncic is a load in the painted area. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Oh, the energy and focus on display. Saw an opportunity to get inside, and they continue to build at this lead. Here's George. So versatile on offense, averaging around 23 and a half points per contest. Leonard for three. Sinks it from distance. Leonard's got his second bucket of the night. Kawhi Leonard has built that three-point game now to add to the mid-range and the ability to draw contact. Now you got to guard him everywhere. Boy, talk to any former teammate and coach, past or present. Anybody who's played or worked with Reggie Bullock has nothing but positive things to say. And with Bullock, he's a player that genuinely puts his team first, Doris. One of those guys, B.A., that does not care if he's starting, if you put him off the bench, Bullock is going to play with energy defensively. He's going to knock down three-point shots. And he's going to space the floor for the star player. First one falls for him. So for the Clippers, Batum is checked in for Zubats. Norm Powell comes in for Morris. And it's Mann in for Jackson. And Dallas with a change here, too. Bertans is checked in. Also good, so he hits both free throws. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Pass to George. From 18 feet away, again the Clippers score. Well, this is a specialty of Paul George. Mid-range game, yes, that's in the arsenal. Powell sets a screen. Green against Powell. Here's Irving. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Irving's got 10 points in the game. Are you serious? <laughs> what a sweet move. Broke his ankles on that one. The Clippers call timeout. checked in. McGee, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Nilakina comes in for Bullock. Scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Powell for three. It's rebounded by Nilakina. 
And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And it's a 12-point Maverick lead. Batum with a screen on Irving. Powell in the post, covered by McGee. What a brutal night for this guy, and it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Right side, Irving. Shoots over Powell. And it's Dallas scoring again. It's one thing to be a scorer. It's another thing to be an efficient offensive player. Kyrie Irving doing work right now. Pass to Kennard. Leonard against Bertans. Leonard, good. Leonard's got five points in the quarter. Well, the strength of Kawhi Leonard's game is in the painted area, he is so consistent as a finisher. To the middle, Bertans, the pass to McGee. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Leonard. Covington's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. And Dallas with a change here, too. Hardaway's checked in. And that's out of bounds. Out of Dallas bounds. will keep it. Maverick. Wow, we have some time. Here are the top three-point shooters in the league. These are the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. You look at Kennard, just an outstanding shooter. He's currently fifth in the league in three-point percentage. Well, the shooting percentage he's cultivated from deep range is so impressive. His three-point shot is about as good as you can hope for. Here's Nilakina, and the call will go against JaVale McGee. That's his first foul of the game. Personal foul. Los Angeles has gone one of four here in the third from range. There's 37 seconds left in the third quarter. And there's the foul. It'll go on Tim Hardaway. That's his first foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. Here's Batum. No good on the quick three. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Irving for three. Rebound by the Clippers. Powell outside. From behind the arc. And out of bounds. Dallas will have it. Mavericks basketball. Checking in for the Mavericks. Luka Doncic. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. The Mavericks on top, up by 12. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter. Stranger things have happened. Jackson and Kennard, the guards. Morris and Zubots play together in the front court. And it's George in at the three, the small forward. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Here's Doncic. And Doncic with the jam. Authoritative finish by Luka Doncic above the rim. Oh, it's stolen. Here's Bullock. George defending. Pass to Doncic. From about 19, Hardaway, no good. The Clippers really having a tough go here. Jackson, pass to Kennard. Here's George. 
60 ticks off the clock here in the fourth. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. What a by Paul George, the versatility to get inside and score it. Pass to Bullock, down low. Out to Powell. Back to Doncic. To the paint. George with a steal. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock. Here's Morris. Doesn't go for him. Bertans with some nice D. And here's Hardaway. Doncic outside. Fires from deep. He nails it. That's his fifth make in 11 tries. Three pointer. Showing more patience this half. His shot selection has improved, and his field goal percentage is rising. Kennard outside. Back to Jackson. He takes it in. Ooh, rejected by Doncic. Uh, hard work pays off for Luka in that instance. How about that on the defensive end? Send it back, Luka. Here's Hardaway. Knocks down the step back, Jay. Ooh, how sick was that, guys? I mean, he makes defenders look silly with moves like that. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Jackson. Makes the most of the high percentage shot. Well, Reggie Jackson might be 6'2", but he's showing you right there. He can play bigger than that frame. Doncic with it. Powell finds Doncic, shoots over Jackson, and there's Doncic. That's good, on the assist from Powell. They are shooting the lights out and doing a good job of maintaining this lead. George outside. Six to shoot. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First Boy, when we talk about those First elite two-way two threats, Paul George's name is certainly high on everyone's list. Well, we know how dominant George can be on Paul both George. ends of the floor doors. The well, consider he's a great scorer, a three-level scorer, and then he's able to guard perimeter and post players. That combination of size, length, athleticism, he continues to be a major threat in this league. That's good from George. What we know about Paul George, guys, is he's been a dominant force on both ends of the floor. He's proven he can be a number one scorer. He has also proven he can guard the opponent's best scorer. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for Kennard. Irving's checked in for the Mavericks. George hits them both. Now here's Irving. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. For three, Hardaway. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. Three points. Irving's got three assists in the game. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Now here's Zubats. Back to Jackson. I see him. I see him. For three, George. Bullock puts it in. Dallas has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Doncic finds Hardaway. Two minutes remaining. In Here's the game. Powell. Two minutes. And a nice finish on the layup. Dwight Powell. And the Mavericks lead by 20. Looking to close things out. That might have been the nail in the coffin. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. Now here's George. Zubats with a screen on Irving. Fires from 14. Tries again. A nice shot by Zubats. And this is something this guy takes pride in. Capitalizing on second chance opportunities. Doncic against Jackson. Here's Irving. Again, Dallas. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Mavericks. Tonight, they got everybody in on the scoring. Had nice passing, which led to good looks. Just solid play by these guys. And you look at their record after tonight, 30 wins on the year.
And this is how they wanted to finish off this season series, with a win and evening it up at two games apiece. We've come to expect big-time games from him. Just another day at the office for Kyrie Irving. I think it would be impossible to overstate the influence he had on this basketball game. He was the centerpiece of what they did on the offensive end and the anchor of their defense. That's as complete a performance as we've seen. Now here's Leonard. Up and over Hardaway. And again, it's the Clippers. Unfortunately for them, they're still going to come up short. You wish they'd shown this kind of fight earlier. No doubt. It felt like they were a little tight for much of the evening. Now they're in a better flow, but it may be too little too late. Jackson against Doncic. Oh, the teardrop falls in. What a performance tonight. Getting a win like this on the road is such a boost. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. Here's Zubats following the score by Dallas. Here's George. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. How about that pass from Reggie Jackson? Right on the money, folks. Now Irving. And so it's the Mavericks taking care of business in this one. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Kyrie, the offense was clicking tonight. Can you talk about the impact of ball movement on your success? It's very important. Um, we trust each other like that on both ends of the floor, especially offensively. It makes it easier for all of us to be aggressive, and I think that we did a great job of that tonight. Um, we just got to keep it going. Fans deserve us to move up in these standings, man. We got some work to do. We got some work to do. This team is as deep as it gets. They're all willing to put the work in, guys. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off as we present our New Balance player of the game, Kyrie Irving.